we're asked to move the dot to seven sixths on the number line. So pause this video. I can move this dot right over here, but I encourage you pause the video and put your finger on where seven sixths would be on the number line. All right, now let's work on this together. So what they're saying is, is from zero to this point on the number line right over there, that gets us to one sixth. So each of these spaces are a sixth. So we go zero, one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths, seven sixths. Let me make sure I got that. So each of these are a sixth. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixths. So that's seven sixths on that number line. Now they have other ways of getting at the same idea. For example, they say which point is at nine fourths on the number line? And they ask us to choose one answer and we can look at the choices here. So which choice shows nine fourths on the number line? Pause this video and see if you can pick that. All right, now let's look at each of these. So it looks like in choice, in this first choice, the space between zero and one is split into one, two, three, four equal spaces. So as we go from zero to this next line, that's a fourth. And that seems like it keeps going. So this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, nine fourths is here. That's what we're looking for. But the dot is not at nine fourths. It's at 10 fourths, 11 fourths, it's at 12 fourths. So I don't like choice A. Let's see, choice B, let's see, what is, let's see, we have divided the space between zero and one into one, two, three, four, five, six equal spaces. So each of these are a sixth. So to go from zero to one, you've already gone six sixths, and then seven sixths, eight sixths, nine sixths. So this is nine sixths, not nine fourths. And so let's look at this last choice. I'm already feeling like it should be the answer, but we can see that the spaces are the same as in our first choice. So these are each fourths. Once again, I know that because the space between zero and one or any two whole numbers is divided into four equal spaces. So to go from zero to one, you go four fourths and then five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, and nine fourths. So choice C is definitely looking good. Let's do one more example. So here they say, what fraction is located at point A on the number line? Pause this video and see if you can answer that. All right. So between whole numbers, how many spaces, equal spaces do we have? It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six equal spaces. So things are divided into sixths. So one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths six sixths, which is equal to one, and then seven sixths. So this is seven over six, just like that, and we are done.